I know, I know, it's late, it's late, but later, better late than never. Paying you all the black pen, it's a great uh, Saturday in Johannesburg. It feels like summer, to be honest. Uh, I went to go and play touch rugby with the boys in the morning in uh, Randburg slash Bryanston. Um, I haven't taken a run in a while, and I got to run topless. Uh, I got a lot of sunshine, so that's vitamin D. Um, I feel really great. Uh, so it's been a, a great day. Like I said, better late than never. I've had an interesting week. Um, yesterday was Friday. Friday, I was one of the speakers and I attended the workshop of the Mishak Tabudi Foundation. Uh, I my What I had to facilitate was how to start with what you have, how to start with where you are. Uh, I had to go for an hour and more than anything, I think for everyone who's going to be watching this, I want to thank those of you who actually watch my videos and who actually listen to some of the things I say. I think I saw about six, seven hands of some of the attendees that actually um, attended the workshop because they'd heard me speak about it uh, on my video. So that really means everything to me and I'm truly appreciative. I hope that you guys learned a lot from the workshop. There were some technical aspects, uh, compliance, legalities, how to submit financial statements, um, how to register uh, issues between directors and the executives that run a nonprofit organization. I obviously spoke about how to build anything from scratch, starting from where you are with nothing, how to network with the people that you know, uh, how to use the resources you can get, how to get donations from people that you might know. Um, and then there was a Q&A, which I think mine lasted for about 40 minutes, where I got to engage with some of you. You got to tell some of your stories about some of the nonprofits that you're running. One of the cool ideas that came out yesterday was that words are powerful. And the idea of non is a negative term. So instead of saying non-profit, why can't we come up with another term? And uh, just at the spot, I was like, maybe if we call it pro-social or pro-societal organizations. You know, I run a pro-societal organization that might have a psychological impact uh, on how we run these things. Um, the people that were there, man, are leaders. They were there from the morning till like, I think after 5 p.m. Um, these are people that are trying to make a change in their communities, people that are trying to fundraise, people that are trying to make a difference. While other people on a Friday are probably getting drunk, um, going on holiday, going partying. These people are like, let's go and get educated because we want to be proper contributors in our society. So thank you very much to Sipati, Smongile and the team at the Mishak Tabudi Foundation. And thank you to everyone who attended. It really means a lot to me. And I hope that you gained a lot of value um, from that session uh, that was there. Uh, I've met an amazing woman called Bridget Cork. Uh, I went for a photo shoot today. I don't remember going for a photo shoot like that, but it was absolutely sensational. I'm going to speak about Bridget at some point. Uh, she gave me an amazing book that I'm going to show you guys hopefully in the next two days uh, from her father. Her father was very passionate about education which is a huge game changer in our country. But Bridget herself is a world-class photographer. She's done photos with some of the greatest people that you may know in this country. I'm going to ask her to send me a list so that when I profile her properly, uh, you guys can meet up with her. But Or you guys can find out about the work that she's done and the people she's taken photos of. In the meanwhile, please go to Bridget Cork Photography. Bridget Cork Photography uh, on Google, you'll go to her website and you'll see some of the amazing work she's done. Uh, my photos will be ready soon and I'll share them with some of you guys. So, yeah, man. Please take it easy. The sun is out. Uh, take sunscreen, of course. Uh, we need that zinc to protect our melanin. And for people that lack melanin, of course, you guys need a lot of zinc. Um, make sure that you're not drinking and driving. Make sure that when you're partying, you're being responsible and you're not going too hard. Uh, please make sure that you're not finding yourself becoming an abuser of alcohol. Um, don't find yourself um, forcing girls to do things they don't want. Don't take random girls you don't know home. Uh, next thing, you'll be accused of rape, even if you didn't. But also stay away from women. If she says no, she's not interested. If she's feeling a bit funny, don't don't even try. Don't harass women. We're going to in, into the silly season. So people are going to be getting drunk and losing their minds. So please, just... Have fun, of course, but please be responsible. Please be responsible. I'll catch up with you guys soon, uh, visiting my boy Luna Skupu. Uh, and I'm hoping that maybe today or tomorrow I'll get some time to speak to the two kids in China, Ungunz uh, Malang, Africa, 
And then maybe in a month or so, I'm hoping to visit two of my other kids that are in Durban. Ushaga, no culture. Um, I'm hoping that maybe by luck, I might see Uzulu this year, but I'm not going to hold my breath. But what's cool is I've also started sketching, man. I sketch in black pen. That's where the black pen comes from. I've started sketching. I've posted some of my doodles, uh, some of my drawings and my sketches on my social media platforms. Um, so I hope you guys will check those out. I'm also going to start writing a book. I think it might be on parenting and some of my journeys since the last book I wrote. Uh, I think I have a lot to share. I think I have a lot of stories to share on behalf of other men and other women out there. Uh, I did a, an interview with Mandi Samashiro on the education of politics on the new virtual Nkuku channel. So please go and check that out as well. And then I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow and update you on some of the other things that have been happening in my life and in my week. Bridget Cork Photography, C-O-R-K-E uh, on Google. Thank you to the Mishak Tabudi Foundation and everyone who attended as well. Next week, Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm in Durban. So I'm going to be meeting up with the panelists there. A lot of you guys have been joining on the WhatsApp group um, where we're going to be sharing logistics. Hopefully when we take photos and all those cool things, you guys are going to be able to network there and create value together. Pen you all the black pen. Happy Saturday, man. I love you guys very much. And again, have fun, but please keep it responsible. Take care of yourselves. Cheers.